well, this is my driveway. I'm just messing around with the zone, with the drone, and I'm putting some stuff out here because I live in a very nice neighborhood. I'm around the corner from Hurd's Ferry Road. The houses in my neighborhood are from 800,000 to a million and a half. Everyone's sitting on an acre up to two acres. But one of the things that you should understand is this is where the old money in Atlanta started. This is where the Coca-Cola money is because I'm going to do some more videos to update you guys, to let you know what's going on with the rich people of Atlanta. This is the rich people of Atlanta, Hertz Ferry, old money. One of the things you're going to see are a bunch of older, large homes. These homes are four to 10,000 square feet. Some of them are bigger than that. And one of the things, and this is me pulling out a driveway. This is my neighbor's house. He's an attorney. I don't know what his wife does. Um, this guy, I believe, is a doctor. And, you know, it's a very quiet, peaceful neighborhood. Nothing but big houses. And every now and then, someone to throw a party. And you will know it's a party because they'll hire people. They will have, uh, I remember someone threw a party for their kids and they had horse rides for the party. Yes, they had these kids riding up and down the street on horses. It was crazy. And this is one of the things where you see conspicuous consumption. You know the book, The Millionaire Next Door, talking about um, how the millionaire next door it's not that much different than you. He wears suits from J.C. Penney's. He drives a domestic car. These folks don't do none of that. None of that. There is nothing but BMWs, Audis, Porsches, Mercedes Benz all over the neighborhood. And one of the things that you have to understand, and you can go ahead and look this up. This is zip code 30327. This is one of the wealthiest zip codes in the Southeast. There's like two zip codes more wealthy and they're in Florida. So you've got a lot of money here. You have a lot of things that are going on here that most folks are unaware of. And I know there, there will be people who are like, hey, man, you know, show us where the rich black folks are. Let me talk about that for a second. I compete with white people economically. I'm not going to pin it down to what's the best black uh, thing. I'm going to show you what's the best of the best of the best because I compete with white people. I'm not afraid to compete with white people. I've been competing with white people for 20 years and I've been winning. So this is where I live and I'm not the only black person out here. As someone did in a live stream, he asked me, how'd you make your money? Oh, Yo, you did this. You didn't do entertainment. That's rare. I, I don't know anything about that. All I know is I run a business that affords me the ability to live in this neighborhood. And there are other black folks. I've seen them going to their mailbox, pulling up to their m micro mansion, pulling up to their crib, doing whatever they needed to do. And, you know, with this, you got to get out here and compete. And this right here, to me, is a mansion. It's got a pool in the back. And there's a brother that lives there with his and his family. And this is Herd's Ferry. This is where the old money starts. Because you're going to see a lot of big houses. But they're going to be older architecture. You're going to see big yards. You're going to see fences. You're going to see people living large. I had my camera positioned up kind of high to get all of these houses because some of them are massive. Some of them are just 
too big to comprehend. I mean, you know, and some of these houses only have one or two people in them. You got this big old house with only one or two people in them. And a big part of this is someone who lives in a house or someone that they used to be related to went ahead and had these big dreams and ambition to start a business or to work their way up the corporate ladder. And like I said, that house is so far back, you know, it's like you it's like two lots back. You can't even see it. And, you know, this is the older part of old school money in Atlanta. This is where you have people because, you know, most of my neighbors are old when I see them out and walking about and everything. You know, they're older people. So this is where the old money. And once again, this is Hertz Ferry which runs into Riverside, well, Riverside intersect Hertz Ferry. And this Riverside wraps around where it runs into Northside Drive, which is nothing but, all you see are doors. You see, you see gates. You don't, I mean, the houses are so huge. I'm going to take the drone over there and just give you an area of view in one of the upcoming videos because, that's the only way you're going to see these houses. Even on this street, a lot of the houses, because they're old, these houses were built 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years ago. So all of the landscaping is mature. This is why you can barely see some of these houses. This is why, you know, and I don't want to appear to be a stalker. You know, I'm not going to post up outside somebody's house. Uh, when I do use the drone, I'm going to have to ask someone's permission to take the drone off in their yard. So that's going to be interesting. I'm going to just drive up and, hey, you mind if I fly my drone at your yard? You got to ask permission. You just can't, like, because uh, on Northside Drive, there's not a lot of places to park that are not driveways or on someone's um, long, long driveway or the interest there, there's really no place to park. So that's what's it's going to be a challenge to get that footage over there. But, you know, typically the bigger houses are clustered together. And I've noticed that and I'm talking about these houses that are sitting on acres and acres. Um, these houses that are just so big. And once again, this is the old Atlanta money. This is Coca-Cola. This is Georgia Pacific. This is this is where the executives live. Because, you know, a long, long time ago, Atlanta was, the traffic was nothing like it is now. These guys could leave Riverside, Hertz Ferry, hit Northside Drive, be at work in 10, 15 minutes. It was, you know, the traffic was not that bad as it is today. So they built their houses to be a part because, you know, Coca-Cola and off Techwood Drive is next to Georgia uh, Tech. The headquarters was not that far from the hood. I mean, you know, Atlantic Station, that house right there, all you see is a driveway. You can barely see it. Uh, all you see all but you know where Atlantic Station sits there used to be a steel mill and uh, next to the steel mill was the hood not the kind of sort of hood but the hood hood where you know you walk over there you walk down the wrong street someone's sticking the knife in your back and pulling the gun on you it was the hood hood and they've done a remarkable job of cleaning up that area because you know I'm looking for real estate and I've just looked over there and the real estate over there is like crazy high and a lot of these houses are paid off you know because there's a lot of people who think you know you know you live in large you got these big loans a lot of these houses have been paid a lot of these houses were paid off as soon as they were built so that's something else that you have to understand because like i said there's a lot of old people here and you know older people they got to have resources to live in this neighborhood. Now, I, I see them out there walking, getting their their stroll on, doing what they need to do to stay healthy. And they're living in these big old houses, which means that they're paid off or they got some money coming in from somewhere. Because it's not cheap living over here. Uh, I pay 
$4,000 a month from my place and it's 5,000 square feet sitting on 1.8 acres. And, you know, they're, 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 some of these houses are palatial, like this joint right here. So you've got, and that one's a new build. And you, one of the things is you could see the new bills stand in bold, stark relief to the stuff that's been here for decades. And, you know, uh, in some upcoming videos, I'm going to take you over to West Wyuka, where there's a lot of modern architecture over there. And I'm going to take you to uh, West Paces Ferry. Because, see, the thing is, everyone thinks that West Paces Ferry came first. West Paces Ferry was uh, where a lot of the new money went. This is the old, stanky moldy smelly money this is like folks who've had money before they had since and this is uh, on this street you're going to see a lot of these huge huge estates they're they're mansions sitting on two three four acres um they're like i said they're clustered together and you will see some older normal looking houses and this is where the the secretaries the folks because i think on this side over here, like this is a multi-million dollar pad. It's got a guest house. Over here, the cheap stuff is seven fifty. That that's the absolute cheap stuff. There's no six hundred. There's no two hundred. There, there's none of that stuff over here. And also, the way that this neighborhood is set up, there are no apartment complexes. You know, because uh, three zero zero two seven. There are no apartment complexes. There are no townhouses. And I was wondering, like, how did this happen? And it had to be by design. They had to set it up that way where they don't want that stuff in the neighborhood because the school systems over here are excellent and they have an amazing tax base because of the real estate that's over here. So these kids, you know, it's River Riverwood. It's a well-to-do school. People, you know, it has a high graduation rate of uh, people going to college. This is where these kids in this school neighborhood go if, unless they don't they go to private school because there's a lot of people that go to uh, Pace Pope. I, I don't even know the private schools anymore. I used to know. Them. But that's where a lot of these young kids are gone. And there is an international school. I see the kids in the Waffle House off Northside Drive in their little uniforms. And we're about to come up on Heinz Ward's house because uh, he's they've been trying to sell his house for a few years. And this is something and this is that's a new build. You can tell by the architecture. You will see people have this luxury real estate. It's hard to move. And one of the things that has happened because I've been like doing a lot of research on real estate is a lot of the that's Hans's house right there um a lot of this stuff hasn't appreciated as much as you would think it would and this is something that I because I've been studying a lot of real estate information and you know when I got my that's one of the reasons I was able to get my house because they you know they're having a hard time to selling it and my neighbors next door they got their house they just put in the offer because they were asking like a million and they put in the offer at 830,000 cash and they took it because they knew that they would be able to close immediately. So you, you've got, that's a new, new build. And you will see a lot of new stuff here on this side of Herd's Ferry. Um, this is like a compound. I think it's a family that bought some real estate or property. And, you know, this, this is the old money. This is where, you know, people just got it like that. I mean, I don't think there's been a foreclosure in this neighborhood in years. In my neighborhood, there was one foreclosure about four or five years ago. And typically, you know, 
a lot of these people have really good money management habits. They know how to make money, but more importantly, they know how to have money make money. Now, we're getting up here. We're getting ready to get close to my house. Now, that's those are two driveways over there. And um, that's one of the houses in, in my neighborhood. You know, just big old houses. People live in large, live in the American dream in old age. I mean, you know, if Miss Sally Mae Jones used to say when I was a kid, if you live long enough, you're going to get old. And, you know, this is one of the reasons I encourage these guys. That dude wants a million dollars for that house. Uh, those are my neighbors that got that house for 830000 cash. And I am rolling up into the crib. So one of the things that you should understand is a lot of these people over here, and this is me playing around with the drone. I was learning how to fly the drone, and I was uh, moving leaves. So this is me just clowning. But, you know, I never had a driveway this big. I mean, you could literally park six cars on the driveway. And uh, there's plenty of parking on the street because that's one of the things I've noticed around here is people entertain, and you can always tell because there's cars parked everywhere, but people do entertain because they have the room to entertain. They have the room to throw a party. They have the room to throw a birthday party. They have the room to throw a Christmas party because you know, because one of the things that I hate with a lot of this new architecture is you got this house, but you have no room for anyone to park. You have no room for anyone to come hang out, especially in some of these townhouses. But, yeah, I'm getting pretty good at this, you know. The drone leaf blower. So uh, there will be more the rich people of Atlanta. What I'm going to do is tell you what street that they're on for your information and give you some more details and give you some more insights on the neighborhood. Because I'll do a little bit of research just to make sure you guys are in the know. So with that, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. And I will see you guys later.